they will surely go far because God will dispose the proposal of men. The proposal of men against your life tonight the Lord shall dispose it. The Bible says the enemy coming like a flutter, but the spirit of the Lord can lift up a standard against the enemy. I came to tell somebody, let the redeem of the Lord say so out of your belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let the redeem of the Lord say so. The first shall be the last, and the last shall be the first. I see you coming. I see somebody coming. You are coming annually. You are coming. You are coming. You are coming from your mother's house. What nobody has done before. You'll be the first person to do that thing. See that doctor is anointed in you. I see that doctor in you. I see that nurse in you. I see the anguish of you. I see the lawyer in you. I see goodness in you. And somebody is saying, you can't go far. From today, we shut it off. You will go far. The church will go far. The ministry will go far. The business will go far. Man of God, Tom Sal. <laughs> Call the second one. I say you are going to be the leader of my UK branch. You say man of God, Tom Sal. I call the third one. I say you are going to be the leader of my Italian branch. He say man of God, I love you with the love of God. I say to the next one, the fourth one. I say you are going to be the leader of my Holland branch. He say man of God, you are too much. I call the fifth one. I say you are also going to be the leader of my Germany branch. He say man of God. I will follow you to the end. I call that this one. I said, you are also going to be the leader of my bad job man. He said, man of God, I will follow you everywhere you go. Calling, calling to the last one. I said, I called him and I said, you, you are going to be the leader of my Togo branch. He said, man of God, Tofia. <laughs> you don't want me to go for that. So you can strike your child. Mm. And I don't want that thing to happen. Because I move with pillar of clouds and pillar of fire. Amen. Yeah. These are my good symbols. And it was too much. Yesterday, Bishop saw something around. He said, I saw the clouds of God all over the vicinity. But it was only here, but not at that world. I said, that was the glory of God. Listen. Some people are saying you can't go far. 
but they are not your God. Yes. Can you shake someone and say they are not my God? They are not my God. So you are so comfortable. But you are at home. you are so comfortable. But you are at home. Two days. The way you know it's like that, sir. Because you don't want to go far. Hey. You don't want to go far. Something will happen to it. Hey. Italy, 26, two horses. I was preaching in Italy. I saw a lady in Italy. I said, Yabo, Yabo, Baby, to solve for my baby. Lipo, lipo, you know lipo, lipo. <laughs> lipo, lipo, you know. That is called lipo, lipo. Lipo, lipo, you have to look at this. Red, akrawa, yellow, akrawa. Now we want the nothing. Jesus Christ. Say your name, I'll go far. I'll go far. My God, when you discover, you shall recover. Hey. I said, when you discover, you shall do what? I prophesy over 13 people after tonight Amen. that whatever be your potential, it will come out. Amen. Reputation is something that you cannot buy. Jesus. But you earn for it. Because when you are disregard by your reputation, that is all. It will take you years. To be revived again. But tonight I came with only one way. Amen. That somebody will go far, 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 and far, and far, and far. And with my eyes open, I see this church going far, 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 and far, and far, and far, and far. I profess over your life. You will go far, and far, and far, and far, and far. Said, you can go to the wilderness and sacrifice unto the Lord, but you can't go far. Amen. Amen. Whatever you wish for, I'm preaching only one contest. Whatever you wish for, you will surely have it. Amen. You know this thing, the same sentiment happened to David. When the Lord rejected Saul, hmm? mm-hmm. according to the book of First Samuel. Chapter 16, verse 13. Bible says, and Samuel the prophet, he took the horns of oil and anointed David in the midst of his brethren. And he made him ruler over them. And when Saul realized that the king's anointing had left him and has come upon David, Bible says he was right. He saw, he saw to kill him. Anybody who has seen something around your life and is trying to kill you, let them just pass Oh, did you hear me? I said, let tender to rise up. Today, I speak prophetically that anybody who doesn't want you to go far, let tender to rise up. Sister, I tell you from the side of you, your diploma is not enough. Your certificate is not enough. May you go far in life. So today, I said, may you go far. I said, may you go far. The way you sing, you thought you are on top. So when they call you to sing, you are singing that same song. So today, tell that song. Go far in life. Go far in anointing. You've been praying for only one hour. You are three members. You are four members. And you are comfortable with all kinds of names. Bishop, Black Rebbe, Genoa, Abuso, and you are there. You are comfortable. When you are comfortable, you are situation. Your situation is not permanent. But when you are not comfortable, who shake it off from today? I came to pass somebody all of this year. I fasted more than 100 times a year. And I'm telling you, because I want to push it out. I want to go by the money. I want to push in grace. I don't want to be limited. I want to know what to do. I am. So, somebody, I came to tell you, and I came to tell you, that your degree is not enough. May you go far. May you go far. Your pharmacist is not enough. May you go far. Your business that you are. You are doing one business, and you are 
then you are comfortable with that business that you are shouting. This is on you. You are not dealing with it. From today, you will establish more businesses, more businesses. They will not stay one place because one net can kill a one, and two net can kill a one. I came to God's company and rise and shine for the glory has come. It's time you can go to this one net and sacrifice unto the Lord. But Moses, I came with the word. May you not go far. Every mouth, every big mouth, every iron teeth, for grass in the air. Say, for grass, and no grass in the air. I can't send me. I can't do a purpose. When I went to Italy, a woman saw me. And he said, grass, yes. I thought he was saying, for grass. I said, I will respond. Not knowing grass, yes. He was leading me. And then grass, yes, spread in your life. And then follow spread in your life. And then follow spread. In your life, and I don't want you to go from today. I come to tell you everything of the Lord. So, the prophets have come to your side, and the prophets have called on your right hand side, and they shall not come nigh you. And put your eyes on it, you shall see the end of the day. And they be said, So long as God is on my side, even though I want to be a palace of the shadows of death, I want to announce what you saw. I can be. From today, I prophesy that you shall go far. Who shall go far? Who shall go far? Who will conquer thousands? Who will conquer ten thousands? Who will conquer twenty thousand? Don't be comfortable. May you go far. I receive it. Bless him back on that. Bless him back on that. Bless him back on that. Stay back on that. You may go far. We are comfortable. Say go far. Go far. Go far. I guess I'll be the boss. We break a way for the cost in our life. I said we break a way for the cost in our life. That is how we do it. My mother did it just like that. My father did it like that. As your mother, as your father. They did it like that. Did they just see? Every limitation in the family, we break it from tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus, and apostolically, I release a prophetic word over your life. And if I be a man of God, and here by this time, I will return in Cincinnati, Ohio. I will check the location. You will not be that same person. You will not be that same person. If I come, I don't see any change. I will look back to Ghana. A child, he expects that the child will grow. Yes. If you have a child, and in the decades of like two years, three years, mm. the child can walk, it becomes a worry. Mm. Hallelujah! Amen. So we grow in life. Mm-hmm. Say to everybody, don't, don't be comfortable. Tonight, we are talking about restoration. Amen. When we are restored, restoration brings change. Yeah. Say, change. change. Yes. That's <laughs> You, we are fully one you. You don't know how to speak it, but we prove it. Let's see what we can do for just slang it. Say you know, I just came. Make a smile out of it. David was not only anointed, but David was careful. That is why he went far. I said, man, you go far. What kind of ministry are we doing now? We are doing ministry with law ethics. We are doing ministry with God's stars. We are doing ministry with God's power. This is how we do it. So that is how we do it. Do it like a new class. If you allow God to be in the midst of the church, the church will go forward. From today, I speak oil over your life. And may you have the knowledge of God to live under this word. So that you'll be able to break every obstacle of the enemy. That's why David said, He said, If you know, I tell me, I want to the palace of the Sabbath of life. I will fear no evil. I'm going to come 25 verses 1. He said, Oh Lord, contend with those who contend with me and fight. Against God, who fight against the people. I went to Isaiah and I saw it said, no weapon of the enemy from tension against me, shall prosper, and every tongue that left up itself against me shall be condemned in judgment. When I went to Jeremiah, he said, I've given you authority over nations and over kingdoms and all powers. You can pray 
wanted to close the online. The woman in the church, they stood by the gate and they closed the door. They said, Man of God, they will not allow you to go home. Still, minister. It is not only anointing, it's carefulness. How do you live with people? Pastor, everywhere they invite you, you go. When you go, they send you food. Pastor sitting in front of people. Say, I will go far. Somebody shout that I will go far. Add a little color to your life. Hey, I did it. Yes. Tomorrow I'll bring you a different scripture that will blow your mind. I told you that anybody around you today we are going to cross. Yes. Say I, I will cross. I will cross. How can you tell a person that you can go and sacrifice unto the Lord in the wilderness? But don't go very far. It's a good statement. He said, don't say don't go very far. Hey. So the person wish for you to carry on with the diploma. And you are comfortable. I wish that you don't go very far. Say me, I will go very far. I will go very far. For the last time, say I will go very far. I will go very far. Oh, say I will go very far. I will go very far. You can't sit there. Say I will go very far. I will go very far. From today, if I be a prophet of God, I announce unto you and I prophesy unto you that you will surely go far. What nobody has done before in their family, you'll be the first person to do it. And you receive a grace right now. May that grace and favor look at you tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Can I hear some men shout and say, I will go far? Can I hear some women shout and say, I will go far? Ah. Do you know when Jesus started the ministry? Because he was metamorphosed with the Spirit and with the oil of God. He was doing good. The Bible said, Then came the Pharisees and the Sadducees. They came to Jesus. He said, You can't do this and you can't do that. They wanted to limit the life of Jesus. Mm-hmm. And he said, When Abraham was, I was. Mm-hmm. Amen. Before you knew, when Abraham is, I was already. So I need to do what? Go far. And this thing is in your life. I speak tonight. That from today. Because, let me tell you, let me tell you this before we push. Things you hear in life can make you or make you. That's it. Listen to me. I said, things you hear in life, they can make you or make you. That's right. Because you can hear some statement in the church. You wouldn't even love to say God anymore. Yes. That's good. And you can hear one way. You always love Amen. to be yes. in the church. Yes. So if you're a pastor, every time you must tell you. So that you don't do here second, and every single one of you will be preaching about people mm. who destroy your church. That's Say, I will go far. I will go far. Oh. That's right. That's I, will, I hope you can put your hands with that. Yeah. Push up in service. Push up in service. Say, I will go far. I will go far. I've learned how to play keyboard. I learned it for three years. Every day, one key. Do, do, do. <laughs> I jump from keyboard to drums. Anytime, bong, bong, bong. I wanted to try this. Yeah, I put it. Then the Lord told me, that is not your food. Whatever your passion is, you do it and do it well. That's yeah. good. Master. So don't go. When you become a computer, mm. eh? nothing will affect you. Ah. Oh, come on. Come on, come to something. Come on, come to something. After tonight, your miracle is coming. Hey. It's not 12 hours old. It's not 7 hours old. Within a, an hour, hey. I will be set a miracle of us. May you be set a miracle. You will act now in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall be set a miracle. Because that miracle is coming. Because of the endless message of the creator. It's a wedding for the manifestation of the sons of God. For the thing that we see, they are temporary. And for the thing we don't see, they are eternal. The other day, Apostle Paul said, What a call can separate me. The love of God is a tribulation, it's a frustration, it's a enchantment, it's a separate. There is nothing that can frustrate me or separate me from the love of God. From tonight, I speak over somebody, and there is therefore no condemnation. To them, to I, I, Jesus, nobody can contact me because one thing that I know that when divinity have an encounter with humanity, that is a 
level of increase I speak over your life. The other day, we encountered Jacob and Jacob said, Oh my God, I will not let you go until you bless me. And the angel asked, He said, Jacob, what is your name? He said, My name is Jacob. My name is Atresa. My name is Isima. He said, Now today, that is why you can offer the next way of your life. And your name can no longer become Jacob. But your name can become Israel. The Bible says, the angel left and the place was known as Daniel. Daniel is a place having an encounter with God and your life is preserved. I go to tell somebody that you uh, are under the tabernacle and the pavilion of God and abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And this I say, the law is my refuge and my purpose. I promise I will somebody your business, your threats, your life, your academics. Go far because I speak of your life that the enemy will come like a flood and the spirit of the Lord, the power of the Lord, and lift up a standard against the enemy. The same Jesus, he said, As many as believe in him, he got them power to become the children of God. One thing that I know at any time there is God, there is power. When there is God, there is manifestation. Your manifestation is now. What is this thing? I prophesy over your life. You are coming out. The anointing is coming over your life. Overtaking an anointing. An anointing of leaders. From men, from women, are taking the lead. But when you receive apostolic oil, you shall overtake them. The same light receive an anointing. The Bible says, we talk in hour. We'll get to chance it. We'll get to chance it. I like it. We'll spend from tonight. I prophesy. Overtaking and making of your life right now. I don't disturb it right now. Disturb it right now. Disturb it right now. It is coming to the church. Of the end. Of which I said. I am strong. And the people in the church shall say, I am ready. Do not allow people to suppress you. Do not allow people to intimidate you. Do not allow people to tell you are not ready. Because one thing that I know. The storm that the brothers will tell me, God has sent storm that we can the same corner storm that laughing at you and make you more fearful. But tomorrow, by this time, you are coming with your wife, you are coming with your pastor, you are coming with your business, you are coming with your sister, you are coming with your kid, you will come out from the iron, you will come out from the limitations, every iron and every iron path against your life, the Lord shall break them into pieces. He said, because of Jerusalem, I am the Lord. I will not hold my peace. Because of you, God will not hold his peace. I prophesy to your life. You will start swallowing. Go far, 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 if the Lord has not approved it, if the Lord, if the Lord, I'm ending with this. Who is a man to place an embargo upon you? If the Lord has not permitted, that's good. Who is a man to look at you eyeball to eyeball and tell you that you can make it? If the Lord, if the Lord has not approved it, that's God. Moses was a stammerer. But the Lord used him. Yes, he did. Peter was a fisherman. But the Lord used him. Yes, he did. Even when the Lord wanted somebody to announce him, Luke was there. Luke yes. was a physician. Yes, he did. Matthew was a chief accountant. Yes. But neither of them was able to announce Jesus. Um, it was that same fisherman yes, that announced Jesus. Yes. There was some greatness inside you. Yes. That no man has seen that greatness. Yes. Until you see it, it will never come out. And may you see it, and may it come out. I bless you with this. In Jesus' name. Amen. I thought you could do better than this. Say, so I will go far. Very few minutes, I will just end. Lift up the two hands and be upstanding. 
Oh Jesus. Oh my God. Zema tolo boli ama. Zema tolo boli ama. Zema tolo boli ama. Zema tolo boli Lift up your two hands before the Lord. Say to the three, I will go far. I will go far. Oh, can I hear three people shout and say, I will go far. I will go far. Say from today, I will change my style.
pas 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 Then it means I can go fast. <laughs> Then the next day, say in the name of Jesus, say in the name of Jesus. <laughs> that was all. <laughs> Then come and see. Holy Ghost started taking over. People were falling. Ah, finish my preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I was laying hands on it. When I finished, the priest came and said, "Is it done?" This is the best revival we have had. Amen. Next week we are coming. Amen. 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 Push from diploma. From diploma, I did my degree. From degree, I did my master's in theology. Next year, August, I will ordain as Dr. Abraham. Who said you can't go far? When I'm done with my doctorate, I'm pushing to become a PhD. That's right. And I will leave those titles at home. When I'm speaking with you, I'll bring you a grammar you want. Yehovah. Because I want to go fast. Oh, somebody say I will go fast. I will go fast. But I want to go fast. But why should I come back and go fast? Because I want to go fast. So I'm going to say I want to go fast. I want to go fast. I want to go fast. This church, I say this church will go fast. Lift up your brother, your brother hands up. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't push me. Don't push me. Look at that person you are holding and say, My brother, I profess to you. Before I do some prophecies, say, I profess to you. As a man of God, that you will go far. That you will go far. Look at it. Honestly speaking. A lawyer in America is my friend. I used to call him an agabus. He's a man of God. You came to America not long ago. But everywhere, I see you preaching. I say, because I want to go far. Amen. If you don't want to go far, me, I want to go far. Yes. You'll be there. And enjoy your title. Men are here say, by the time you realize, you may be a part of that. What church is? Every church which is small will go far. Professor, 